Happy Earth Day, everyone. I'm Longley Flora. I'm the Master Gardener at the E.O. Wilson Biophilia Center. I bet you all have some kitchen scraps at home with all of the stay-at-home orders we have. So I bet you you want to know what to do with it instead of just throwing it away. Let's do some composting. Let's check it out. Your waste that you throw out to the trash, 50% of it is compostable. 21% is food waste alone. 15% is paperboard, toilet paper tubes, paper towels, and yard trimmings that make up 8% and another 8% is wood waste. All of this is compostable. Instead of throwing it into the landfill where it fills up the space, why don't we compost it? So it will save from on pollution of the soil, air, and water. It'll also help with climate change. And it also is not, it will save on the health hazards of the environment and for humans and animals. So what is compostable? Chicken legs. Not compostable. It attracts animals. Fruits are compostable. Vegetables are compostable. Pizza. Not so much. Cheese and dairy are attractors to animals. So these are the things that you don't want in your in your uh, compost. Is you don't want meat, dairy, diseased plants, Fats and lard, meats and bones, pet feces, not okay. It could have diseases. Yard trimmings treated with chemicals. You definitely don't want any of that. What is compostable is the vacuum cleaner bag droppings, the coffee grounds, eggshells, fireplace ashes to a degree, not too much, fruits and vegetables, grass clippings, hair and fur. You got pets, you got fur. Hay, straw, houseplants, leaves, newspaper, nutshells, paper, sawdust, tea bags, wood chips, and yard trimmings. All of these things are available to you for the compost. If you keep a five gallon bucket in your house, in the kitchen, with a lid, you can put all of your stuff in there and then you can throw it up into your compost. So this weekend I did quite a bit of cooking and canning. I enjoy canning quite a bit. So I have a whole bucket full of compostables nice stuff. This is my compost bin and let me give it a turn to show you how well it's cooking. It's warm to the touch. It's just slightly damp. You see there's a little bit of moisture. It's holding together just a little bit. We're going to add this compost that I just put in the, the kitchen scraps, we're going to add it into this and we're going to give it a stir. I made some salsa and some cabbage, add some eggs, did some baking, give it a stir, turn it under real well. Now that's considered nitrogen. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little carbon to this. I have over here, I have a container with some wood chips. Dried wood chips is considered carbon. And you want about a two to one ratio. Because the nitrogen will be too wet, the carbon will make it the right consistency and it'll actually help it cook. Compost piles reach about 140 degrees when they're in full production. And you stir it up, get it all incorporated really well. And then you put the lid on it, give it a stir once in a while, every couple of days. And before you know it, 
this is what you end up with. Rich organic compost. This is super great to put on your gardens, your lawns, and around your plants. Just in a matter of weeks, this is what it'll turn into. Alrighty, so compost is great for your garden. You want to add it into our soil. You know, it's Florida soil is not that great, it's mostly sands, and we don't have that much organic matter in it. So this compost adds all that fantastic organic nutrition into the garden. What you do is you put it around there, around your plants, and you work it in gently, just ever so much. Don't disturb the roots, just get the work, the compost down in your plants. Break up any clumps that you got. And that's it. Alright, so you can also add in compost to your grapes. Again, you add it around the base of the plant, all in the soil, and then work it into the soil gently without disturbing the roots. It gives the plants a healthy boost of nutrition, amends the soil, and helps the plants become healthy and happy. Have a wonderful day, everybody.